Hello and welcome to the alpha demo of High Seas High Profits. Uh, I'm slightly embarrassed because I've been tr I I just sent a message uh, through the bug feature saying that like I I was stuck on the tutorial, uh, and it turns out like it just it just isn't super clear on what I was supposed to do. Anyway, so this being a alpha demo, you can expect there's going to be a lot of things that just aren't going to work. The game is at a super early stage uh, based on the numbers that I just read uh, on there for the version number. So keep all of that in mind and, and we'll see if this is actually a video that goes out to the public or if this is something that is just specific for the um, the developer. The downside of having started to make a video and then stopping because I couldn't figure out what I was doing because I thought there was a bug is that now you miss out on all the initial takes on the experience and uh, now it'll come off as a little bit less... Uh, sincere perhaps but I assure you it's very sincere and I will do my best to recreate the magic of the the last 10 minutes that have now lost to time anyway so this is a alpha demo as I've stated it's being made by a dude in his 30s uh, let's see there's uh, some mechanics that work a lot that doesn't work no captain trades no pirate count encounters no automatic tra trading. There are no sounds, so the only voice or the only sound you will have is my voice. I apologize for those of you who wish it was something different, and to those of you who are very happy that it's the only thing you're hearing. You're kind of weird, but it's okay. Only turn-based gameplay is available for now. That's fine. Many tooltips are not properly linked to other existing tooltips, and some tooltips were never created. Many things will not be properly balanced. Unexpected bankruptcy is quite possible, and I apologize in advance. There are no events other than the starting quest. High Seas is meant to be full of them, and I promise you'll see more of that in the beta. No mayors or parks. Uh, some businesses share a single default building model. Consider wishlisting and telling a friend if you haven't already. There will be many bugs, and report them in the menu. I can confirm that the reporting um, system works. Uh, there are many, many awesome things I'd love to add to high seas, but they will all depend on whether we manage to make the game successful together. You truly have the chance to shape the future of this game. More than anything, I wish you had fun even at this stage. So, like, a big thing about, like, when you, um, from any kind of player perspective, when you start to play, like, a, an alpha demo or a game early on where the developer is reaching out for, you know, an idea of, like, what's fun, um, what mechanics work, what don't work. It's not just about, like, potentially finding bugs. It's about, like, what what do you like about the game? What don't you like? What makes it fun? What things could be done to improve it, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So if you happen to be playing the alpha demo, I would encourage you to take it, you know, as serious as possible and, and try to give some solid feedback and everything to kind of make this, you know, as good of an adventure for everyone as it can. So, all right. We gotta do quests. I am assuming, I know because I've already tried this, but the quests in, are for this guy and this person. There's actually, we have to do both of these. Uh, this is where I got stuck because I didn't know that I had to do both. I just assumed I only had to do this one based on she had no numbers and um, my little pirate dude up here, he did have uh, numbers. So I I felt like I only had to do one thing, so I just couldn't figure out what was going on. So I think there needs to be a zero out of one or something clicked on her to make sure the player figures that out. I know that uh, not everyone is as slow as I am, but still. Anyway, mouse over the edges of the screen, use WSD or the arrow keys to move around the map. WSD works fine. If you have a dual monitor set up, the uh, mouse cursor will travel outside of the screen and you can move it around but it'll still kind of go so probably need to either make this like borderless full screen or lock the mouse to the window something like that to kind of prevent that from happening find the traders hall and click on it it's the only building that actually has a flag on it and i know that some a lot of these buildings look the same like the stone mine the dwelling also a dwelling also a dwelling a wool spinner. All right, so we got a lot of buildings that look exactly the same, and I totally get it. It's fine for the alpha. One thing I think would be potentially relatively useful is this is obviously the trader's hall. Maybe I don't want to say obviously, but it's the trader's hall. It's the it's got like a a bag on it. Bags are synonymous with buying things. Uh, in Canada, you get your bags in 
or you get your milk in a bag in some places in Canada, not everywhere, but I've been to Canada and I've seen the bags and milk or milk in bags. So I know it's a thing. Anyway, it would be nice if this, uh, I don't know, blue flag thing, maybe if we like hovered over the buildings, the, uh, the flag would pop up. It would be useful, uh, you know, definitely while the buildings look the same for us to actually be able to see what it is instead of clicking on it, because otherwise it's just like this memory situation and I'm not going to remember anything. Uh, it would also be cool in the, in the full game if that just did. I don't know. I just think, I think it's like from a UI concept or from a, uh, I guess like a visual aspect. It, I think it would be pretty cool. I also like the little people walking around. I do wish there was an ability to zoom in because I just kind of want to zoom in and see these people. I can give them names and pretend to know them uh, so I can care about them and what they're doing and wonder why are they going to the places they're going. Like, why is everybody going to the vegetable garden? Well, actually, it kind of makes sense. They're hungry. I like vegetables. Anyway, let's move on. Look on the shipyard. Shipyard's another building that's pretty easy to find. All right. Find our ship, the first love. Dunsies. And with your ship selected, click on the trade button to trade with the city. Easy enough. All right, it's automatically moved, so that's good. In the trading interface, buy some goods. Pick some that are plentiful and cheap. We want profit. So this lady sent us like 10 barrels of wine, right? Okay, I don't think she's actually delivering this stuff. I don't think that's something that's actually implemented. So, Because uh, I'm looking, we don't actually have anything, but all right. Buy some goods, pick some that are plentiful and cheap. Let's, uh, we can buy five at a time. What is cheap? Cheapest, cheapest, cheapest. Looks like it is probably the ale. Uh, and the salt. I like the way this works as far as, um, Price is going up. Looks like we, uh, no, we still have plenty of money. And uh, we've run out of goods. All right. Everything is bought. Open the world map and travel to a neighboring city. Willow Brook. So there is a pop up that will pop up that tells you, um, in order to do this, you have to right click on the town. I clicked it. I don't need a seat anymore, so that's why it doesn't pop up. I'm going to advance to the next turn, and we didn't quite make it. Uh, I believe I'm going to have to next turn it again. Yeah. All right. Wait for your ship to reach the new city, then left click that city on the world map to enter it or whatever. Got it? Sell some goods. If the tr prices are bad, keep traveling. So, I think this screen probably needs a little bit of work. I don't remember what I bought anything for. Um, it's like, I don't know what I, what I spent on anything. I believe the salt was relatively cheap, right? Like 12, I started at 12, but then things kind of like... Got a little bit different. I'm just going to sell everything. I don't think I've actually made any of my money back. Actually, yeah, I actually lost money. But I think it probably needs a little bit of work for the UI. We need something that potentially... It could be as easy as making the cell quantity green or red. Or, you know, white for it's the same price as what you bought it for. Potentially red means it's you're selling it at a loss. Green means you're making money. Some Something that's going to help you. Otherwise, you're expecting the player to remember stuff. And people like me, eh, we're not going to remember. Uh, which is going to make, you know, buying stuff a little bit difficult, I think. All right, let's buy a bunch of salts. And we need to reach 6,000 coins. Not... not going to be an easy uh, circumstance but we'll go I don't mind that there's no real like information on the towns before we get to it because it wouldn't really make sense I don't think for us to know like 
how much everything was. I'm actually getting poorer. Uh, okay, well. And even in, like, I mean, the idea of buying things as cheap as possible, I totally get, makes sense. But again, I just, I, I can't remember what I bought the prices for, which means the likelihood that I'm going to be able to actually make uh, any money at these places is a little bit hard. Actually, okay, bonuses for vegetables. So I think that's what I'm going to have to do. I'm just going to have to kind of remember what's in my inventory. Is there a way for us to look and see what's in our inventory? It does not look like it. And we have taxes to pay. Wow. All right, so we could potentially go broke trying to do all this stuff. All right, that's good to know. But I think, like, what I'm going to have to do is look at this stuff uh, from this perspective. I got salt. Salt is the only other thing I have. Uh, I think what I need to do is come out and look at it this way. Let's say they have logs, tar, and wine. So I think what we will do in order to kind of make this make sense, hopefully, is we'll buy some logs and some tar and see if that bonus is actually going to work out in our benefit. And I think I lost my ship. Nope, it just, it made it here. I just didn't see it. Okay, you know what? It looks like that's what I have to do. The focus has to be on on that. So, ale cloth and stone. Belly out one. Um, cloth. I don't have a lot. And stone. We'll just buy everything they have. And then nothing else looks like it would probably be valuable. I feel like this is going to take a really long time to actually make the money. It just, there needs to be... Like, I actually made less money this time. Really? That didn't work at all. Like, my, my whole plan of... Doing it was a failure. Bonuses are hot garbage. I think I'm just gonna. I mean, I don't want to stick on just. Uh, I don't know. Let's let's try to do. Uh, let's try to do beef. Beef is delicious. Uh, maybe we can. Maybe we can do that. Now, beef and cloth and salt. And now we're broke. All right. Maybe we're going to go bankrupt. That would be unfortunate. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, they're definitely... Oh, here's our inventory. This is what we get to see. I can't believe I missed that before. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, it's definitely a little bit unfortunate that we're going to, like, potentially lose money. And there are quests that require... Uh, I don't think I actually had enough money for my taxes. No, not hometown, dude. We need a uh, button that you can push that takes you immediately to your ship. It's going to be something useful. Um, yeah, we're just losing money like crazy. All right, we'll go to Bracken Hollow and see if we can't fix this somehow. Yeah, it just, I, it, it seems, without knowing for sure, like, I'm trying to base it off this whole idea that there's a bonus um, for delivering things to these towns. You know, the idea that, um, you know, if we actually... Uh, 
bring things to the town that they want. Like this place wants bricks. All right, let's just just for 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 the giggles um, here to figure this out. Uh, I'm gonna buy nothing but bricks. Now, I don't know. We'll, we'll say that like on average, I bought them for sixty four bucks. Let's see. If there really is a bonus for when we sell them here. I can sell the bricks for 13 bucks. Really? Like that's... That doesn't make any sense. Like that's, I'm so confused right here. Bonuses, bricks, cloth, and tar. What am I... Am I just wrong with how this works i must be uh i don't think i actually understand this at all there's gonna have to be like i think a better system in place to kind of help figure this out i think it's just like ultimately when it comes to trading it's just we don't have something that works really well actually you know what i've got an idea let's go to willowbrook Uh, my, my new plan, which isn't advisable at all, is to potentially, you know, sell things that they don't have, right? So maybe I'll make more money here if they don't, you know, they don't have any grain. Um, so we'll do, let's go with, uh, clay, grain, honey, and logs. Clay, grain, honey, and logs. Clay, grain. Honey logs, I have to do that so I don't forget. And the grain, they don't have any. They have no clay. Uh, but they have some logs. We'll take those logs. And then we will sell them at Willow Brook. And we made a very tiny bit of money. Ah, Alright, hold on. Can I... So I can't look at the towns to kind of see what they have. And this whole scenario of, you know, that they have specific things is not something that is really working for me. I can buy, like, a bunch of the cheapest stuff and, and just kind of hope for the best. But without knowing what the price is going to be at the location I'm going to, I don't imagine this $6,000 requirement that I need to make is even remotely possible. Um, well, I don't know, actually, our vegetables actually sold at a potentially decent price. We made a little bit of money, but then I could buy the vegetables at the same price. It's just like, what is even the point? And now I'm broke again. And I don't want to buy too much stuff because I'll go bankrupt. Uh, all right. Let's, I don't know, let's go back to Willowbrook. I don't want to go too far. I feel like we're going to get hit with that tax. Where is my ship? Why are you not here? Okay, they are here. I'm just clicking on the wrong places. <sighs> all right um it's let's sell the ale let's sell all these things now i'm just i'm just getting poorer and poorer i'm not this is not going to work um the way things are going so there's just there there has to be something something has to change there's a couple of things i think that i i would imagine would make this um actually doable because i will say right now like i i'm not gonna hit six thousand coins and I, i'm gonna i could stop and i could start over again and i still might not hit six thousand coins and and i think it's because there's just there's not a method in place just yet that's gonna make that something that is going to be you know i guess easy for us to kind of figure out uh 
my major complaint here is that I don't know enough about what's going on at the other cities you know to, to, to actually make a determination on what makes sense to take um, you know so like this bonus information that's here isn't helpful it because it doesn't tell me anything bonuses are bricks fish and lumber but what does that mean really does that mean I get an extra brick if I buy a brick does it mean I'm going to get more money for selling bricks? I think the best thing to do would be, you know, here at your... I think that's... I think I figured out what the bonuses are. Yeah. Okay, so the bonuses are actually your production bonuses. Yeah, that makes sense. Um... I can look at this. The city apparently doesn't have much of anything. Uh, they're also not producing anything, which I don't think is something I can actually um, do here at this point. Actually, I, I don't. I don't know. Apparently, I can trade with the city. Even though I'm not in the city. Seriously? All right. Well, um... Let's, uh, no, that doesn't work. Well, what, where, what did I just do then? I don't think I have like a storage location. I don't know what I've done. I think I've just completely hosed myself. Um, oh, cause I put it in like potentially a warehouse. All right. Okay. Okay. It makes sense. Uh, but anyway, but I think we need something like maybe at the ship port or a shipyard. It's just got to be a building or something that gives us a general idea of what's at these locations. Because otherwise, I'm just guessing, and the guessing isn't going to get me anywhere. Because I, I don't know what I could possibly get. Where is my ship? My ship is in Willowbrook. Where am I? Where am I choosing? I don't know. Let's go to Marrowgate and. Then we'll go to Amberwick and we'll see if maybe we can make some degree of cash here. I don't think so. I think I think I think this whole run is completely hosed. Um, yeah, because even buying the cheapest of cheap stuff, I don't think makes it really possible for me to knowledgeably no, no I don't know it doesn't give me an educated ability to figure out where I should be going to selling to where, where I should be going to sell this stuff um you know I just and like now I'm, now I'm definitely out of money so I would imagine we'll go bankrupt uh, before we actually can get to anything maybe not uh all right, I made a tiny bit of money. I would just buy more vegetables. What is buy that many vegetables? Yeah. We're going to Stormcaster. We're vegetable sales people. That's what we do. All right. And the vegetables are actually of a worse value here, so... Uh, I guess if I'm only doing one or two things at a time, it would make sense to kind of go through and, you know, buy a specific thing and then just when I get to a place, decide whether or not it's actually worth it to sell. Like, I mean, obviously that was worth it because the price was it was quite nice. Um, but without knowing what to look for, it's it's just going to make it kind of a very unstreamlined process that is not going to be exactly super entertaining because it's going to get pretty upsetting to kind of go to different places, try to find something to sell and hope that you're selling it right. And now that they have some, you know, it's obviously um, no longer as expensive. Uh, so that 
whole method doesn't actually doesn't actually work. Um, again, we need something in the towns that gives us a general idea of what is going to be at the city we were going to to make sure that we actually are not wasting our time. Because without it, I'm going to these places. I have no idea if the place is even going to want the stuff that I'm selling. Um, and it just, I'm consistently out of money. I cannot get to the 6,000 coins because I just don't have the information provided. If we look back at like the t back in the day when ships still traveled places, uh, it wasn't like something that didn't happen ships or you know locations would still say like you know what was needed at a certain place because they were trade like a ship would leave one location and it would go to another one and they would be like hey you know we dropped off this stuff and we picked up this stuff you know you had com or not combo you had um, cargo manifests and everything so the game would would really really benefit from some kind of system that is in place uh, similar to that, because otherwise, I mean, we're just going to run into the situation where we're never going to make any money because we have no idea what we're doing. There is a possibility that I just am doing a really poor job and I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, so I will acknowledge that, but I'm also going to say I, I, I definitely think something has to change uh, to make that a little bit easier to understand because... This current system just doesn't allow me to actually trade in a way that's going to be valuable. Um, so, uh, let's see. What did we get? We got 26 minutes. I'm going to stop here because I'm just, at this point, kind of going back and forth, doing the exact same stuff. I'm going to try to go to this ship and see if maybe I can go to a ship. Uh, did I not click on this? Uh, okay. Why is my ship not going? To... Okay, so what I had hoped was happening here is that I could go to the ships, but uh, instead, if you right-click on one of these ships, they just kind of tell you what they, what where they're going, which isn't going to be of any real value to me, um, because I also don't know what cargo they have. So, all right, so things I liked, I like the graphic style. I, I think the minimalistic art is really nice. It's very quaint. The game overall feels pretty, pretty chill. Um, there's a lot of stuff that obviously I didn't get to do because I can't seem to get the 6,000 coins because I have no, what to, no idea what to bring anywhere. Um, my goal as a vegetable salesman failed quite miserably. Um, And I'm just trying to run out of cash at this point. Uh, the trading aspect works really well. I think it's good. And again, I've talked a very large amount about what I think would make it better. And I think it's a... I, I don't want to say it's a simple fix. But I think giving us the ability to know what the requirements are or the requests are at these locations before you get there will make everything so much easier. And I suppose like there might be a way for us to see it, but if there is, I just couldn't figure out what it is, uh, which is a little bit unfortunate. Because I mean, go back to the town and try to look. I mean, you can't do anything in any of these buildings. Um, I can go here and I look at this. The, the production or the consumption doesn't quite help. It tells me that they are consuming a considerable amount of ore, which would make me think that maybe they need some ore. Um, but I don't have enough money to buy anything at all. Um, I can see what the average price of things are. Uh, it looks like they're paying good money for um, for beef. Uh, they produce some fish every week, but you know, I just, there's not a lot, a lot going on. I, I just, I guess, there's just there's too much that I think, as the player, me specifically, there's too much the game is relying on me to just remember, uh, which is never going to happen. I just, I don't have the memory capability of that. Um, you know, so it just, it just can't be done. All right. Well, anyway, 
I overall, uh, you know, for being a pretty early demo, I am relatively impressed with what I've seen. And I think it's a pretty cool, pretty cool time thus far. It definitely feels really promising. Uh, I'm going to send this video over to the developers, see if he wants, or see if they want this, um, you know, available for everybody. If they do, then it will be. If not, then it won't. And, uh, yeah, that's a, a very, very early look at high seas, high profits.